Hello and welcome to Game and Chat, the podcast where we invite members of the gaming community and industry to join us to play their favourite multiplayer games whilst telling us about themselves and why they love this game so much. I'm your host Mike and joining me today is my bro and editor-in-chief of Mike Tendo 64 it is Jack Tendo 92 Bro, welcome to the show. Hello, hello, welcome one and all. So how you been doing, bro? Um, I know we did the first episode last week to uh, to get us, you know, rocking and a rolling with the podcast. And basically, because that episode was a little bit of everything, this time it's all going to be focused on you, uh, your role at Mike Tendo sixty four, your exploits, um, where you know working at Mike Tendo sixty four, or you know writing. For- for my Tender 64 rather, has taken you around the world and also some of your background into journalism as well. So, the floor is yours. Um, tell us a little bit about you, Jack. Well, my name is Jack. For 32 years I've been a brother to Mike. <laughs> and for like the last nine, nearing to nine and a half years, I've been doing my Tender 64 with my older brother. It is, and how quick that time has gone. Ain't it just? I mean, 10th anniversary is coming up in May? Yes. Yes, it is. And it who is. knows? We might, be, we might be able to celebrate that 10th anniversary with the launch of the Nintendo Switch successor. Or at least news how about weird, it. <laughs> how weird it has been to you know go from being like a Wii U 3DS site to... And X because of all the rumours to then switch and now still being around to potentially seeing the launch of the Nintendo's next console. It's going to be a wild one, that's for sure. Because we just do not know how and it's going to go with the Nintendo Switch 2. Um, I mean, there is obviously, you know, rumours popping up again about the um, backwards compatibility and, you know, the cut new cartridges and stuff like that. But anywho, so you've been with us, or you know, we've started it up together. Basically, it's only like a couple of weeks in it uh, when I brought you on, mainly because of your background in journalism, because you have written for magazines and newspapers, both uh, local and national. So, um, how did you get into writing? Well, writing was always something I was always blatantly obsessed with i mean you know you were there you see me doing poems and songs and books and novels and short stories ever since i was like eight ten years old and you know you yourself was one of my biggest supporters with my writing you know you encouraged me to try and be a freelance writer back in 2008 what do you know streetwise magazine actually went oh here's a young person that knows what they're talking about yeah let's run some of their articles and then instead of just staying with Streetwise, all of a sudden I was in newspapers, as you said, international magazines, and it just went from there. And then when I started getting a bit um, exhausted from the kind of work that I was doing, because although I was writing about the marine environment, which was cool and awesome, majority of the time I just started writing like generic news and this and that, and then getting disillusioned by newspapers whose whole thing was, oh yeah, we don't really need everyone to be a writer, we just want copy editors, so your job is to sit down, look up online of what other articles other people have written, change a couple of words and then post it for us. And I was like, yeah, I can't do that. Then you came up to me with, let's talk right about gaming and been doing that ever since. Mm-hmm. And um, so, talking about gaming, here we are. The game that you've chosen for us to play, well, you did choose it initially, and then we sort of like ummed and ahed about what we was actually going to play. So I thought, okay, we'll bring it back to this. We'll bring it back to ARMS. Uh, One of the main reasons is because you have quite a strong connection with this game anyway. Uh, So I'm going to get us started. So talk to us about, uh, well, talk to us, yeah. Talk to me, talk to us, to the listeners why you enjoy arms i mean arms for me I, i've always enjoyed it because it go, goes back to like the wii u days when we used to have wii sports i was absolutely obsessed with the boxing game you know there you are with your remote and your nunchuck you know as coming from a family where our dad was a boxer you know boxing was a form of connection with him and i greatly adored the boxing mode in that and then when arms come along with its joy con support the means of a pro controller as well 
you know, how could I resist? And as soon as I started playing it, I was hooked. I constantly felt disappointed that, um, you know, it launched too close to the release of Splatoon 2. I think it was like three weeks between them, you know? It was yeah, like sending was not what could be a new, you know, what could have been a brand new, you know, obsessive um, IP that we all got obsessed with. It sort of got overshadowed by Splatoon, you know? It, it was bare bones when it released. And although the free updates really, really added to, you know, ARM's overall value, it was just, it was almost like it was put out of pasture before it ever really truly began. Yeah, because, um, I mean, it did get updates, so it brought in more characters and then... Uh, like Max Brass! Max Brass, who we yeah. first Who we first got our look at during um, E3, weren't it? Nintendo Treehouse. Yeah. It was indeed. Yeah. Okay, so this uh, is Arms, Arms, Arms is a good game. You know, it's it's one of those games, and this one reason why I love it. It's like it could be months or you know, weeks, months, possibly years before you've picked it up. But the controls are so simple and intuitive. You know, you're jumping right back into where you were. You know, it's not like you lose too much skill. Yeah. Uh, and then recently that's, that's as it. well, uh, you had the opportunity to interview a certain the someone about the cancelled arms. Uh, anger, manual. yeah. That, absolutely love that. You know, as a man that has been heavily involved in Sonic manga, the creative movement behind it, the ideas, the man that helped write Sonic Frontiers of his life, it was great to be able to talk to him about the arms manga as well and you know, learn something new about this IP that I love so much. Plus, you know, the obvious reason why I love this game so much is having been the younger brother for a long time, there was many, many video games who were always superior to me at, and this is yeah. one where, thankfully, I've always managed to hold an edge. <laughs> hold an edge? <laughs> you are kicking my butt right now. <laughs> Yeah, but to be fair, and uh, this is going to make you feel better, I was, was just going over the tutorial <laughs> to learn the controls of that before <laughs> getting ready into this. Just for that quick refresher, it's like, oh yeah, here we go. That's why I even like, changed the colours of uh, my character. Because <laughs> it's like, no, 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 I, I can't make you look like I'm a noob. I need, I need to come in here being able to do something. <laughs> <laughs> Well, to be uh, fair, I did play a little bit about this the, the other week, actually, but it's just trying to get the... Ah! No, I'll keep... Right, hold on. Remember, X is to jump, Y is to dash yeah. left and right, A and B at the same time is a grab. Okay. And obviously, tilt, tilt your controls to yeah, move the punches better. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I, I would have given you a sporting chance. <laughs> Sporting charge? You have totally. Oh no, you have totally wiped me out there. I'll flip it in that. Somebody's been watching Cobra Kai. There was no mercy there whatsoever. <laughs> I want to win Sakai to Kai, alright? Let me be. <laughs> don't you? Don't you just? Uh. So, um, I mean, after. I mean, you were talking about, you know, copy editing and, you know, writing for, you know, big papers and stuff like that. Well, uh, just the other day, um, unfortunately, um, one of the voice actors for Pokemon had passed away. Yeah, the original voice actress in the English dub for Jesse, Misty and um, Jigglypuff, I believe, as well. Yeah. Uh, well, oh, the, game wants to get out here. the game wants to give you a chance, it's already giving you your, your flurry mode ready, so remember, L or R to activate it. <laughs> Doesn't matter hey, if you can't uh, get off the punches. Um, but yeah, so you got off half of it, that's you know, what matters. Oh crap, uh, that's me boned. Go on yeah, Mike, it's, it's your chance. This is your chance. I could, I could turn this around. <laughs> turn it upside down. Ah. Layer those were looking. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, as you were saying, you know, like copy editing and that, I mean, 
it's one thing to just change a couple of things around, but it's another thing to change somebody's age entirely. Uh, reason why I say this is because Eurogamer reported on it, and they took their source from the New York Times, and they aged her at 55, when in reality she was 46. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So, you know, I mean, it's all, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, modern journalism, it is extremely competitive right now. It's extremely difficult um, to get an edge. And, you know, a lot of it is you've got to get first. If you're not first, right. you're last. Right. So on this one, we've got to work together. I'm going to try and distract him so you can get your special move off. All right. We have to oh, do this together now. or we blow blues. You got the special. He's beating oh, me he to got death. The Come on, man. <laughs> Always like this. No, oh, no. Uh, oh, that yeah, I got, I got, yeah, he got me as well. well. Uh, this might be all on you in a minute. I'm about to die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Headlock knows who the real competition. Oh, he's got his flurry going. He's touching every. I'm right behind him, and he's still getting a re on everything. Oh, come on, get some. Oh, he got me with yeah. a bomb. Uh, not me at all. I'm trying to get in close. I'm actually using motion controls at the moment. It's not as easy. <laughs> yeah, no. Come on, he's wrecked. He's distracted. I'm oh, no. dead. I'm... No. Quick, get him with the knife. Go for the floor. He's in the heel box. Oh, get him out of no. the heel box. He's recovering. It's all on you now. No, Help me, everyone. Could be you <laughs> if he didn't recover, no. you would have been dead. Yeah. On the plus side, you survived a lot longer than I did. I know. So, I mean, I could survive, but then that's because you got right in in now. You got right on in now. You took him head on, and now it's me just trying to just learn the control, well, basically. Uh, <laughs> so, someone needed to. Um, hey, I'm just going to change my character quickly. Yes. Uh, oh, I've just done that, but I don't know if it's going to. Oh, you can you can change your character. That's fine. I was going to, but you started before I could. I wanted to change character and color. Never mind. Right. Okay, Put your that hands that in the air like you just don't care. Okay. Oh, is this the headlock scramble one? You're gonna be in trouble now. Why not? <laughs> no, I'm getting wrecked. I got you, I got you, I got you. It does help that you had finally found a character that's got the good arms that you're used to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I started off with Spring Man, because obviously Spring Man is the, uh, the really nice one. That's oh, got. God. Yeah. And now you're swapping to the one that managed to make it into Smash. True. Okay, I, I, oh, flipping it, I am not doing well out. Trying to keep you back. No! No! So you didn't even you need the headlock. Back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just absolutely kicked my butt. So, there's just a clarify in that fight, right? You got the headlock, you had your flurry, and you still ended up losing. Oh, yeah. It happens, it happens to the best of us. It does. I bet I'll if, I, if I change character, character now. now no. You got two seconds. It. Yeah, it did. Let me change colour. Oh, it's V-Ball. You love the V-Ball. Oh. You usually win this one. You get a chance. Usually. How, how have we both done that? <laughs> Maybe that's why I didn't get my colour. No. Great um, minds think alike. Okay. Um, no, probably those. The best. I'll start. Ah, no! Why? <laughs> I was too close. My bad. Ah. What? Oh, <laughs> you were saying? No. If you take too long with it, it just drops, remember? Yeah. Like it, it wants to so. drop at some point. 
It's gonna do it in a minute. No. <laughs> it keeps facing the wrong way. But like you said, you're using the motion control for the Joy-Con, yeah. whereas I'm cheating with the Pro Controller. Yes, uh, I think I will change things up with the pro, um, using the Pro Controller myself, to be fair. Um, I mean, it all sounds good on paper, but when you're trying to hit and you're swinging your arm like you're hoping to hit it, and it's going the wrong way. <laughs> this is not to take away from your win at any... Um, because, yeah, no, you totally deserve that. And I was... Terrible winner. No, we you are, uh, as Cleveland would say, El Terrible. El Terrible. Right, hold on. Let's uh, see if I can uh, swap out the controls quickly. Right. And while you do that, I'm changing character. Okay, so uh, we're going to be a bit naughty and we're going to come out of the game for a second. Oh, it won't let me uh, come to the main uh, home menu. <laughs> it won't let me change. <laughs> oh, no. Actually, uh, it's OK. You... I do have another method. If I take away the number one controller, if I stick them, and them onto the switch. Aha. Now we, we can... Oh, no, it's going to communication error. Oh, no. OK. <laughs> All right, we'll start that up. Okay, so if I create the lobby, um, what did we say? Party, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. No code. Uh, no, no, it's friends, isn't it? You gotta go join friends. Yeah. You go friends, and then it was party or arena. So yeah, let's stay. And then you should be able to come and join me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll leave quickly then, and I'll come join you. Okie dokie. Oh, hang on, hang on, I've got a new badge. Let me just check out what my new badge is. <laughs> the cars at Cinema Do got hit ten times. Good thing those cars are so fancy they're impervious to scratchings. Oh, that's all right then. That's okay then, isn't it? Well, that's all right then. <laughs> I'll do it with a little bit more enthusiasm, bro. It's more like, well, that's all right then. Isn't it just? <laughs> okay, right. Oh, he's gone proper Cobra Kai this time. I have gone proper Cobra Kai because, you know, I've got to go back with my main. Yeah. <laughs> I've played with some Cobra. other characters. Now I'm going to let my main have a go at it. <laughs> so, with, um, you know, writing for Mike Tendo 64, you've had the opportunity to go to events like um, Barcelona Games World, Game Police, EGX, uh, MCM Comic Con, and also Gamescom as well. What has been your most favourite event? Um, well, uh, just give me a quick shout out. Also went to WASD. That was a good event. Um, it really does vary. I mean, Gamescom is something else. I went back in 2019 before COVID happened and N nothing can prepare you for Gamescom, you know, it's no. massive, it is colossal. You are running round just to try and get to the, your next interview or the next main hall. You are passing thousands of people, you know, it's it's not a sprint, it's a marathon and you've only got a couple, you know, about three, four days to enjoy it. It's, mm. it's intense. Ah, oh, no, you, you... I mean, I've managed to do slightly better, but I ain't getting... No, I'm getting out of this. Ah! And you got me anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, game, Gamescom is, like, truly, truly intense. It's full-on. It's, it's straining. The days are long, even if you've got a press pass and you're mm. getting past the queues and getting in quicker. It's, it's consuming, you know? It's... If you don't take time to look after yourself, you, you've you already skipped lunch and it's time for dinner. The place is closed here. You need to go get food. <laughs> Practically lived on the curry first <laughs> the entire time I was out there. And you was not alone, <laughs> although chip. I couldn't go with you. Uh, you was accompanied... I was joined by good old Richard and mm. Paul Murphy, both up with Switch Player at the time. Yeah. Talking of Paul Murphy, he's recently... 
with Ninty Media, they they successfully funded their third book in their game book series. This time for the game book Advance, the unofficial nice. companion series of books. And we recently just covered the second book, the Game Boy Color one, on the site, sharing a number of photos. And on TikTok and YouTube, I'm um, doing little mashup videos of like photos and extracts from the book, but merging it with the game titles and cutscenes. <laughs> Of yeah, the matching books. Mm -hmm. Just having a little fun with it. Oh no! Oh, we're playing the basketball one. I completely. We I was just we were <laughs> I was so Why do you think I stayed I was... alive for so long? Oh dear. And you got yeah. me again. Boom. I just wasn't focused on it. No. For somebody who isn't uh, focused, you're absolutely decimating me, I must admit. <laughs> I, I was in the middle of talking about the game book Colour. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was. But no, that, it's a good read with a lot of, you know, notable contributors to it. Writers from various websites and medias, such as Nintendo Life's Ryan Craddock. No, it's well worth yes. the reading, it's a good pick-up. Okay then, I'll definitely have to uh, keep an eye out for it myself. If I can uh, pick it up. And um, although the, obviously, where it was a Kickstarter project, those that funded it get their copy that way. But with the mm. Ninty Media website, you can go to the store page and buy your copy from there. And they've still got copies of the first game book available too. So anyone that's looking to add to their library on basically two extensive encyclopedias on the history of these consoles, there's nothing stopping you. Nintendo Media have you covered. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, you got a hit on me. <laughs> <laughs> Rub it in. <laughs> and you just catch me. That's like right. That. Fair, no. Yeah, I, I thought I'd go hands on. Do you want to recover some life? Make this fight more interesting. Or not. <laughs> or not. <laughs> it just knocks me the heck out. As you called, you called it earlier on, man. No mercy. Cobra guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, I totally walked into that. And uh, I'm sure that some of our other guests will be, you know, pleased to know that I'm not, you know, um, unbeatable. <laughs> I can be beat. <laughs> Just got to use the right game. Uh, Everyone, arms is his weakness. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it just? Flip it, heck. Um, you know what? Right, on the next match, I'm going to try right really give you a big chart. I'm going to play as Master Mummy, so I'm big, cumbersome, and slow. Okay, so I'll give you a chance to try to get that win in. It's the fact that you manage to, you know, you get a, an absolute double tap in, it's just boom, boom. And I'm, I'm just sluggish. Clear fair, there it does. I have to rely on the specials to, you know, actually get a hit on you. Every time. Every time, flip in it. Oh wow, okay, I'm stuck in a corner here. You did something then? No, you fell into no. a trap. Yeah, I did. <laughs> the trap, is, straight the trap has been sprung. I don't know what weapons Seriously. you are using, but every single one just hit. It just boom, 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 boom. There's just no, no escape. <laughs> I, I can so hear the voice in the back of my head saying, "You should have stuck with the rear, uh, with the motion controls." <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 God! Um, I've made a mistake. We're fighting headlock, and I swapped to master mode. <laughs> oh dear! I wanted to give you a chance, not him. <laughs> um, you know what? Big and cumbersome it is. I've got full health. That's just that feels unfair. <laughs> you want me to fight headlock with not full health? I Come on, man. How is he still hitting me? I'm trying to get, at least get close to it. Ah, this is Star Wars, man. He's got the high ground. He's gonna go for me. My arm's dead. Yeah, I know. He totally wiped me out. Oh, not cool, dude. Go back oh, into the lava. Hit, yeah. We're both nearly dead. I know. I'm trying to. Avoid. There's just no. Yeah, I'm, I'm down. I'm out. Oh no, you're down. I'm down. <laughs> and he's about to get. That's me out. <laughs> I told you, man. I'm big and cumbersome. Master Bobby yeah. was no good. Ah. <laughs> oh. Well, 
on the plus side, this has just brought you a little bit more time hmm. so that you can now rack up a point against me. The, the match <laughs> has been extended. Do you have what it By takes what? to have the ultimate comeback and get the next 15 points before I can? Uh, no, I don't think so. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, uh, we'll see. I mean, I'm Master Mummy, I'm big and bulky, and it's a headlock match. And mm. you're light and nimble. Alright, so let battle commence. <laughs> he says. <laughs> no, no, don't you see? You're doing it. I'm just glad you got the headlock after you usual flurry, because that would have ruined me otherwise. No. Oh, flipping out. Oh, this has got all kinds of wrong there. <laughs> no, it just went all kinds of right. To be right fair. Right for you. <laughs> the inevitable is thinking you had a chance. <laughs> now, I mean, this all looks like, you know, this is all going really wrong for me. But, you know, when Twintel passes out, you do get the most spectacular view. So, I think I'm still... You know, a winner in that respect. <laughs> hey, this shows PG-13. We intend to keep it that way. Come on. A win here means I walk away winning the overall thing. Can I win this show at the last minute? I mean, I've can. won it the entire time, but... Uh, there's no doubt, but... We've got to give you a chance. Photo finish. Something to end the show on good. <laughs> Remember, if you punch the other person, it sort of delays them, so... Yeah, uh, that is what I am trying to do, but then you have this great big fist that keeps coming at me that I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> and you still... Ju it just homes in on me, dude. Look, <laughs> try to get out of the way of it, and it just hits me every time. <laughs> And just flip me out. Just, just, flip <laughs> I just me out. grabbed you and threw you then, yeah. <laughs> uh, it felt so right though to me. You have got such an amazing range with that weapon. It's just, it's just like it's getting hit by a cannonball, but the thing is, I just can't get out of its way. No matter where I go, it's there. It's like, bang! Yeah. <laughs> but unfortunately, although the weapon is great itself, it is very, very sluggish and yes. slow. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because I am the winner once again. You are the winner. Congratulations on that. Are you going to be and a third it's... time champion? <laughs> no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk away with pride and give you a rematch another day. <laughs> You're going to give me a rematch another day? Oh, man, don't be like that. We need to give the viewers what they want. Give them a part two. Give them a part two? Oh, all right then. Well, thank you very much for joining me on this episode then, bro. I mean, um... This is episode two, um, and it's you know great to be able to you know get to hear your side of everything because obviously you know people know us as Mike Tendo sixty four, Mike Tendo sixty four, um, but there is a Jack at Mike Tendo sixty four, and you know you have been to these events, you do have a you know a background in journalism. I'm just the guy that puts the name to the website basically. And then takes all the credit but, and the glory. <laughs> that <laughs> is true. Not... To be fair, no, 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 he's absolutely right. Because that is the misconception. Everyone thinks like Mike runs the show. Everyone thinks Mike's everything. And even over our email, we get it's, oh hi Mike, how you doing? And uh, there's we have to reply, ah oh, yeah, yeah, this is Jack. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the editor but, in chief. <laughs> but but then, then even still, even if you're lucky to get called Jack, because a lot of times they call you Jake. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, oh, here's this very simple, strong-sounding name. Jack starts with a you know, soft J, heart ends with a hard K, but no one can get it right, apparently. <sighs> no, they can't. No, they can't. But anyway, uh, thank you again, bro, for coming on to the show and joining me for this. So um, it seems weird 
to say this really but um as with all good things that must come to an end so must this podcast so thank you jack for joining us on the show and to all of our listeners at home our fantastic listeners and watchers for taking the time to uh tune in to us um this is now the time where you can plug your stuff so uh where can people find you where can people you know follow you um this can be you know for my 64 and also for your other projects as well so the floor is yours bro well, as of right now, everything I do is essentially exclusively Mike Tendo 64. So all my written words can be found on the Mike Tendo 64 website, which is Mike Tendo 64.com. But you can also see our fun little videos on TikTok, where we are Mike Tendo 64 Gaming. We're also on YouTube. We're on the X. And we're still on Facebook. We're that old and dated. <laughs> yeah, we, we started the site in our 20s. We're both in our 30s. Before you know it, We'll still be doing this in our full weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, until next time, keep on gaming. Keep on gaming.